Gönlüm bir Tatar, Azeri bir boydu Kara kalpak, Kırgız, Kazak bunlar bir soydu Özbek, Türk, Mermur, Bur, Tatar, Azeri bir boydu Kara kalpak, Kırgız, Kazak bunlar bir soydu Özbekistan, Türkmenistan diye kurmuşlar Özbekistan, Türkmenistan diye kurmuşlar Ana yurdum Türkistan'ı bölüp koymuşlar Ana yurdum Türkistan'ı bölüp koygenler Özbek, Türkmen, Uygur, Tatar, Azer bir boydu Kara, Kalpak, Kırgız, Kazak bunlar bir soydu bir daha Albanya devleti olmuştur. Roma sergirdesi Tini Pompey Ermenistan'ın tutuktan sonra Eren Zenevvel 66. yıl Albanya ərazisində daxil olmuştur. Alban çarı Oris 4 min nəfərli ordu ilə düşmənə qarşı hücuma keçmişdir. The Republic of Azerbaijan, not on the state borders in the past and the present Suleyman Aliyarlı. The province of Azerbaijan, at the term of the Middle Ages, it used in contemporary sources, Media Hegazvini, Skanderbeg, Munshi, etc., and referring to the whole of Azerbaijan. Although the province has been very variable in its geographical connotations over time, the whole is generally held as consisting of the Narsan Republic of Azerbaijan and the Sarsan Iranian Azerbaijan. This land lies between the main Caucasus range and the mountain chain Kurdak, from which the Little Zab River, a tributary of the Tigris, takes its waters. Here runs the Sarisixes parallel. This is the southernmost boundary of the land of Azerbaijan. According to Al Yagubi, an Arab author of the 9th century, Iran, the land of Nasan Azerbaijan by the confluence of the Arax and Kura, represents Upper Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan al Ulya, stretching as far as Berda and Derbent. An important note of precision of is made by Ibn Hogel, who lived in the 10th century. On the map of Azerbaijan that he drew, the western Cause of the Hazari Caspian to the city of Derbent belonged to this country. According to the information of Al Tabari, A.T. 8 Henry 38, 9 Henry 23, and Ibn Al Tahir, uh, on 1000 Henry 60, on the map of Azerbaijan that he drew, the western coast of the Hazar Sea to the city of Derbent belonged to this country. According to the information of Al Tabari, 8 Henry 38, 9 Henry 23, and Ibn al Tahir, 1160 and 1233, Maslab ibn Ab Abd al Malik, leader of the Caliphate, moving in March against the Turks, reached Al Baba and the district of Azerbaijan. Al Kufi, 7 Henry 31, 7 Henry 98, one of the early Arab authors, includes in the country of Azerbaijan the towns by Lakan and Sheki, along with Berdan. Gudama ibn Jafar, writing at the end of the 9th century, even mentions Berda at the capital of Azerbaijan. Ibn al and Yagut, who also take the northern border of the country as far as Berda, named Zenjan as its southern frontier and Erzinjan as its southwestern. Azerbaijan at the contention of this author that during the course of the next millennium the geographical coordinate of Azerbaijan, about which Arab scholarship reports in the 8th to 10th centuries underwent relatively minor change. In the 16th century, the Azerbaijani land existing at the metropolitan of the Safavid Empire formed three Beglar Beckets. Azerbaijan proper, the center of which was the city of Tabriz, the first capital of the state. Karabakh was at centering Ganja and Shirwan. This administrative state structure, which existed for 200 years, exercised a significant influence on the subsequent political history of the country. On this basis, there developed in the 1740s the Azerbaijani feudal state structures known as Khnats of Sheki, Karabakh, Kubin, Urmen, Nakhchivan. The territory of the Karabakh not, for example, created to the extent of the former Beglar Beki, uh, with exception of the town of Ganja. Among the state activities of the 18th century, he most parallel clearly perceived the national interests of Azerbaijan was Fatali Khan, governor of the Cuban Khanate. 
he came out determinedly against the idea of forcefully splitting out the western lands of the country to gather with a ton of ganja to the advantage of georgia azerbaijan was recognized as an established entity even by the leaders of a country that maintained activity active foreign policy intention towards it thus the russian representative in kakheti brunesia wrote that the land of azerbaijan the north bordered georgia and the east the caspian sea and the province of Gilan, in the south Iron, and in the west Turkey, along with the cities of Tabriz, Marega, Urmia, Hoy, Ardabil, and Meskin, are the areas of Baku, Shamakhi, Sheki, Ganja, Shusha, and Nakhchuan also belong to Azerbaijan. During the course of 16 Henry years, the lowland and Athlan confluence of the Kuren Darach, including Kareba and Nakhchuan provinces, were a company part of the state structures upon the territory of Azerbaijan. Some sources have traced the establishment of this all exclusive structure of Azerbaijan to the late 15th century. The writings of an Armenian historiographer certainly recall that this period was significant for Transcaucasia in a territorial sense. In 387, Armenia was split into two unical parts. The western districts went over to Rome, whereas all the other parts, more than three quarters of the territory of Armenia to Iran. Moreover, in the western part of Armenia, there was no king appointed, and it was incorporated into the provincial system of the Roman Empire. Up until the 9th century, taking into account the two Henry II rule of the Caliphate between the 7th and 9th centuries, the land referred to ancient Iran could not have been under the domination of Armenia either de jure or de facto. This question was received exhaustive treatment in historical works based on contemporary sources Greek, Caucasian, Albanian, Arab, and Armenian. The quality of the testimony of the great historical and geographical literature of the Arabs needs the commendation. The state apparatus of the caliphate afforded Azerbaijan special strategic importance. This was demanded above all the interest of the valley with the Khazar Khanate the war that lasted intermittently some 150 years, in order to create for itself a strong show before the Khazars, the Caliphate engaged in the migratory politics of colonization and resettled in Azerbaijan the population of entire district of Aravi. One of the main cities of Azerbaijan, Berda, the former capital of Iran, was transformed into the residence of the Caliphate's local representative. Therefore, for a long period, Arabs gathered significant information on Berda and its environs, precisely that which later constituted the province of Karabakh. In Arab sources, the question of Karabakh is traded to all intent and purposes quite informally at the province of Iran. The report of al Masudi, writing in the 10th century can be counted as fundamental. He wrote, the mountains of Abu Musa, which belonged to Iran, are settled by tribes from the peoples of Iran. The report of the Armenian also Ardan is important, where he describes the establishment in Ganja of the rule of the Shaddadid Fazlun. At the end of the 10th century, the author also reports that Fazlunim, incorporated into the composition of Warda by Lakan and Hachan, the basic part of Upper Karabakh, the main lowland and upland regions of Karabakh. The same Wardan also writes that Fazlun took control of the town of Duin as well, laying upon a mania attacks of 3,000 dinars. The assertion at the beginning of the 11th century Khajan and Gardman were included in the Bagratid Kingdom of Ani, the Armenian state formation from 885 to 1045, as difficult to reconcile with the evidence. Perhaps one can speak of the war deposit, but no more than this, because Fazluni, maintaining his own money in Genja in command of a significant military force, held northern Azerbaijan in his own sphere and scored a victory over the Khazar Khanate.
it's difficult to suppose that he would have accepted the loss of his kingdom's metropolis this is even more the case as other contemporary sources including the Gassida of the Zabajani poet of the 11th century Getran of Tabriz report Ran in Tunic being under the power of the Shadadis even after Fazl. Moreover, the kingdom of Ani was ruled by Buzan tomb in 1045, whereas the Shadadids ruled Iran right up to 1088 when Genjo came under the power of the Seljuk imperial Malik Shah. According to the sources, Karaba remained in the administrative political structure of Genjo even during the next century. The Osiri Mikti Hargosh, 2012, Sorry, in mentioning Khachan, writes of its capital Ganja. Enormous text written in the beginning of the 13th century in Persian, the author states this district is difficult of access in mountains and forests. It belongs to the region Ram. The same applied in the case of the districts in Chiljabyurt, governed by the Genji Emir of the state of Atabax of Azerbaijan, since the district of Jalpart was in the region of Berta. In collective historical works between the 14th and 16th centuries, such as Nurat al-Gulub, Zayl Tariq, Egazide, Takmilat al harbar the upper part of historical Karabakh is generally referred to in no way other than as Karabakh of Iran. To such a state of affairs in sense is fixed also by Arakal Davritsi, the Armenian author of the 17th century, according to whom Karabakh is the land of the Caucasian Albanians. Then the Vardapet set out for the land of Albanians to Karabakh. Presley saw the strength of the traditional state rule formed over centuries. Karabakh became the system of the Safavid Empire 1501. 1736, one of the streets of Bajan Beylar Behid, the administrative center of which was the town of Genja. The state administrative identification of Karabakh is an historical retrospective corresponds to the following sema. Sri Henry 87, 905, Iran Gardman, Principality, Capital Berda. 7th to 9th century rule of the Caliphate, and of 9th century beginning of 10th century around Gertman Principality, 6.9 Henry 85, 10, 1880, around state of the Shadadis capital Ganja, 10, 1880, 12, 25, part of the state of the Seljuks and Atabak, Edenid, and administrative governance of Ganja, beginning of 13th century to end of 14th century, Rule of the Mongols, 1410s, 15 Henry, part of the state of the Gora al Gayunlui in the administrative governance of Ganja. 1501, 6 part of the Safavid state administrative unit for the Karabakh Belalberi, administrative center Ganja. 1747, 1822, the independent Karabakhanat capital Shusha. During the course of the 14th century, used in the Shema, with the exception of the existence of the previously mentioned kingdom of Ani, Armenia was not represented on the map of Transcaucasia in terms of its own statehood, which removed the basis for any further attempt to interpret the facts differently. Furthermore, Arabic historical and geographical literature in particular fixes the fact of statehood in Azerbaijan. Yagut al Hamavi, having weathered it several towns in Azerbaijan in 1213 and 1220, wrote this as a huge land and great state. Such a conclusion had in view not merely in Evaluation of the frontiers of the state of the Azerbaijan Tabaks, who, by the way, minted money also in the capital of Iran, Genja. According to the observation of another medieval encyclopedalist, Hamdullah Kazvini, at the time of the Atabaks of Azerbaijan and of the Khans of Shirwan, this was one of the richer countries of Asia Minor along with Iraq and Iran. In particular, budget revenues recorded by these authors flowing into state treasury revealed the significance of Azerbaijan as a state. As to the question about who was the creator of these who twitched in Azerbaijan, Hamdullah Khazvini provides precise ethnic confirmation with reference to the large towns. The people of Tabriz began their own Turkic dialect in Maragat. The people here are white-faced Turks, who are famous at the 
Turkic array. The 18th to 19th centuries held special place in the history of Karabakh. In connection with the annulment of the Karabakh Beglar Brigade, the town of Ganju and its environs first fleet gained some independent status. But the Karabakh Khanate formed in the wake of this was also now based on the land of ancient Dara. This is a natural triangle formed by the lower course of the rivers Rakh and Kura. Here is what the historian of the Karabakh Khanate, Mirzi Jamal Jawanshur Karabakh, wrote at the start of the 19th century. As is described in the old historical works, the border of the Karabakh village are the following. In the source, uh, the river Arag, from the Kudafarim bridge as far as the Sinakh Kirpu, which is today found on the territory of the Magala, Kazakh, Shumsedun, and Demir Hassanli. Bureauk trees of the Russian state call it the Red Bridge in the east. Uh, the river Kura, which joins with the river Arak by the village of Jawad and later flows into Caspian Sea. In the north, uh, the river Kura sources at the frontier of Karabakh and hills of Itpal as far as the river Kura and the Kura. Stretching along the frontier extends to the river Arak. In the west, the high mountains of Karabakh named Kushbek, Sadwart and Durikli, the Karabakh village part of the country of Aram. The Karabakh Khanate, by the connection of Armenian Nasrus was not a semi-independent Persian Khanate nor its leader a direct appointee of the Persian court. Right from the start of the existence of the Khanate is about the inevitability of a long struggle with Iron Fort perceived which had no desire to reconcile itself with the lust of the formers of John Bergler Bahit. This also explains the bitterness that was occasioned by the question of building the capital for the Khanate. In the State Council of the Khanate was stated, we must surely perish unless we construct a more secure forest against them, and this is not for preferably to find another castle in acceptable place for our domain, so that in case of need, we might also receive help from one of the Khanates that are our neighbors. The threat from Iron brought about the union of all the patriotic forces in the land of Karabakh to and Emanion, everything was dependent on this. Within the composition of the Khanat, a single coalition formed, incorporating even the Emanion Malik's Tavarda Shanazar, to whose daughter Ibrahim Khan was married, the Hajjim Mirza Khan, and also the chiefs of the Ereman Khan Monastery, elevated by the ruler of Karabakh to the Albanian Catholic throne. However, the Armenian Malik's of Dula, Gulistan, and Chilibyurt were in opposition to the Khanate and sowed the seeds of civil conflict. As regards the position of Malik's, they represented in themselves forces which wished to consolidate the feudal dismemberment of Karabakh. At the conditions of the second half of the 18th century, this was extremely dangerous. The wider forces could easily be dominated by more powerful neighbors, Iron and Turkey. The regime of the Maliks was also negatively evaluated by General Ermalov, Russian supreme commander in the Caucasus. During the second decade of the 18th century, the self styled warriors went over to the side of the Gajar, the sworn enemy of the freedom of the peoples of Transcaucasia. But against the enemy, a coalition of patriotic forces arose, which was led by Ibrahim Khan, Lieutenant General Kismenshev of the Russian Tsars and of Armenian origin road. The patron Karabakh didn't limit himself to the defense of the castle Shusha, but took all measures in general to strike a significant blow against his opponent, convinced that his hatred towards the trend was shared by his subjects. He declared the people's war, thanks to which was also only be expelled the Persians from his domain. This was explained by the fact that the Karabakh and Kubian Khanate, in practice holding under the power, the Hall of Nas Azerbaijan found themselves in a position that was incompatible in relations to the Gajars. First, Azerbaijan and Khanate were in an anti-Iran coalition. At first, the leading role was taken by the Kubian Khanate having drawn up a joint defense part packed with Eastern Georgia against aggression from Iran. For Sadiq Fatali Khan, the rule of the Kubian Khanate, a long the shadow of Gajar aggression on the stars and horizons of Transcaucasia and was preparing Azerbaijan for battle. This is how the union between Fatali Khan and King Reklov Kakhati was formed. 
After the death of Fatali Khan, the sworn union of Eastern Georgia was formed with the Kariba Khanate. The allies did what they could do to aid each other. For the military needs, Iraqi financial assistance was made available from the Kariba treasure to the tune of 120,000 troubles. The main division of the Persian army consisting of 8,000 Sarbas was inhalated of at Askaran by the joint Georgian Azerbaijani forces. King Iraqi read the following to his appointee on the Caucasian line by the Russians, Aga Mohammed Shah, lies siege to the castle of Shusha for more than a month by the people there inflicted great loss upon him. For this reason he was unable to come out and battle against us. Then there followed the famous cavalry march of the Persians of Tbilisi. Together with Thierry Elizabeth Joanna Rulian Hans, the position of Union, Malik's Muslim and above, crossed out to their side. It was this who began to lead Iranian military in the direction of Tbilisi. There can hardly be any dispute as to which of these forces can be evaluated positively from its historical perspective. Nonetheless, in recent Armenian publications of uh, the Azerbaijan feudal state, Kreba Khanat is reduced to the status of being a representative and vassal of the Shah and the uh, opposition sons of this Khanat are glorified as warriors. The weakness alone on the, of this argument requires that its proponents should resort to a different criterion of evolution to be exact to look into when through the prism of Russia Caucasian relations. Zaris occasioned only by the house her scholars tried to prove that Panahan and his successors were the initiators of the unification of Karabakh and Zengazur with Russia. The question must be asked from whom were they seeking protection? Well, people of the Karabakh and Zengazur under these terms are understood only as Armenians, although the demographic evidence adduced below paints a different picture. This is clear. They were seeking liberation from the Turkish yoke. As for the so-called Hans, whose yoke were were they wishing to reject, isn't it true that the Hans didn't conceal that their once warning enemy were the Russians, and all of a sudden the Hans voluntarily decided to enter the composition of Russia, isn't such falsification a little insulting in the first place to the Russian people whose sons in their thousands were sacrificed in unending battles caused by Hans and Pashas? And how on earth could a handful of unarmed newcomers of all a sudden decide to entry to incorporate Arthur's land into composition of Russia? This quotation expresses the credo of an entire literature, but such manifest exploitations of Russia theme as a corresponding perhaps to the intellect of a sub-officer in the pre-Slavic times still doesn't bring us anywhere near the truth. It's not a whole packed of documentary resources published over a hundred years earlier by Adolf Berg in the command of the Caucasian Archaeological Commission of the Interrelations of the Karabakh and with Russia. Many are in the original language with contemporary translation. According to the published collection of the Imperial Russian Historical Society, diplomatic relations with a great point of idea of current weather of the Karabakhanat conducted in St. Petersburg's led in 1783 to the following edict of Catherine. As for Ibrahim Khan, if not difficulty or doubts met in taking him into Russian protection, it seems possibly to adopt for guidance that which was done with a King Arakli. The edict was not executed by a Potomkin, although good uh, relations with the Empress continued. A year later, she wrote to Potemkin. The letters of Ibrahim Khan are written with much greater politeness than the Turkish or other Persian ones when they have reached me. Please inform me who he is. How did he become Khan? Is it the young or old, strong or weak, and are the Persians inclined towards him? In July 1784, it impressed best told upon Musa Sultan, the Karabakh ambassador, the owner of being the representative of a sovereign friendly state, commanding that an artillery salute to be, uh, be given, and that he be shown all the fountains and sites of Petrohof, all were secure sites, especially our fleet. For the bilateral treaty regarding the transference of the Khanate, not Karabakh, but especially of the Khanate, and the power of Russia, it was signed on 14 
15th May 1805 in Kurekta. Entitled the Sworn Declaration, it was signed by Ibrahim Khan of Shush and Karban, the all Russian military infantry general Pavel Tsyanov, empowered by the purpose by Tsar Alexander, at point list to search in the street of Armenian names of Karabakh or Zengezu. Within the limit of its own state borders, the Karabakh hand remained in the composition of Russia's vassal state, preserving its own internal institutions and establishments, but without the right of external relations. In 1822, the Khanate was abolished. So what system of state administrative dependency was introduced this time? As possible that a realignment of dependence of the Malik of Karabakh had that is of the Afro in lower parts of Armenia? The fact is that during the course of war between Iran and Russia during the mid to late 1820s, the latter regained control over even the Iran Khanate. Disregarding to the absolute majority of the Turkic population, the Khunat was refashioned into an administrative unit with national nomenclature called Menion District, in the composition of which was assigned even the Khunat of Nakhchua. An edict of Nikola II of 21st March 1828 declared, by the power of the treaty concluded, would pursue we commanded Erevan Khanat and Nakhchivan Khanat next to Russia from Persia. Henceforth, uh, in all deeds be known as an Armenian district, and that is, be included in our title. Thus, when they emphasize goodwill towards the national expectations of Armenians and the armenophily of Russian authorities received political expressions during imperial edict, the frontiers in territorial integrity of Karabakh were not transgressed, and a place of the abolished Khanate was formed Karabakh province, subordinated to a military district of Islamic provinces. The capital of the former Khanate, Shusha, became the residence of the head of the district, drawn from the number of Russian generals. In governmental circle, there was a question of identifying any part of Karabakh as Armenian. This explains the fact that, in an official publication put together by the Imperial Ministers of Foreign Affairs, Internal Affairs, War and Finance, Karabakh is included in a makeup of the Islamic provinces. The Russian Empire, incorporating into its possum of the Karabakh Khanate, did instruct to tear out the administrative state complex of the Armenian Khanate of North Azerbaijan. Subsequently, the administrative territorial governance of Karabakh altered according to the following schema. 1824, 22 and 48, the Karabakh province is in the makeup of the region of Islamic provinces. 1841 and 40, the Shusha district in composition of the Caspian territory. 1846 and 67, the Shusha district is in the makeup of the Shamaha. 1867 and 1918, the Shusha district is in the composition of the newly established Hills of Itbal Gubernat. 1919, 20. The Karabakh General Gubernat encompassing the Zengazur Shusha Dilash and Jabral districts in the makeup of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. States of the General Gubernat was recognized by representatives of Intenti, commander of the British Expeditionary Force, to Baku General Thompson, agent of the Council of the Moreover, the demand of Thompson and, and I was put to the excesses of the infamous General Andronik was expelled from the borders of Karabakh. In 1920 and 22, the Shusha, Jawanshur and Jabral districts of the Genji Gubernate at the makeup of the Azerbaijan is there. From 1923, the Shusha districts and some parts of the Jawanshur and Jabral districts were transformed into the Nagorno Karabakh Autonomous Region in the composition of Azerbaijan SSR. Thus, over a period of 16 Henry Tears Karabakh as a whole and eight upper section in particular formed part of Azerbaijan state form formations or represented of themselves an administrative unit of Azerbaijan provinces. Despite the contention of Armenian authors, they were never ancient Armenian land, unified whether handed over to the Azerbaijan Republic in the 1920s. On the contrary, he are uh, the incontrovertibility of the historical fact forced the Bolsheviks of the Lenin Stalin heart as well as the Department of the Tsarist Empire even Henry years earlier to leave Karabakh in the makeup of Azerbaijan. Moreover, after the establishment of Transcaucasia of communist power at the Bayonet, other eight army powerful forces were 
Labour set a motion. The Caucasian Bureau of the Central Committee of the Russian Communist Party passed a decree of the on the transference of the upper part of Karabakh to uh, Armenia in force July 1921. However, exactly 24 hours later, this was annulled and the resolution was passed, which was became today's standard rating. Starting from the requirement of national peace between the Muslims and Armenians and of the economic link between Upper and Lower Karabakh and, its, uh, and of its permanent link whether Azerbaijan or Nikarabakh is or remain within the borders of Azerbaijan as it are also adds to be granny white autonomy. First abandoned the idea of wrenching Karabakh away from Azerbaijan, the Supreme Red Legate in the Caucasus or Johnny Kadda bring the effect idea of autonomy. It was not out of philosophy links towards the Armenian, but through the force and power interests. I, I well appreciate that in certain political circumstances we may have need of Armenian. He conducted the dialogue whether independent Azerbaijan is necessary exclusively. Skill ex he conducted the dialogue whether independent Azerbaijan is necessary exclusively and the language of diktat it requires Azerbaijan to pronounce the autonomy of these regions but this must manage from Azerbaijan. Matters took on such a scandalous character that Lenin pointed another underling for Secretary Kurov under whose chairmanship in September 1921 the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Azerbaijan passed the following resolution to ask the CAF bureau to re-examine its decision on the division of Nagorno Karabakh not to announce any autonomy pending days but Things didn't work out that way. Baku was able to withstand Arjun Kadzi's pressure for only one one and a half years. In June 1923, the regional committee of the Russian Communist Party demanded in the form of an ultimatum that Nagorno Karabakh it be detached into an autonomous region within one month and the implementation of the degree of the Azerbaijani Central Committee of the formation of the autonomous region of Nagorno Karabakh from 7th July 1923. Protagonists are for an isolation atalusite demographic government by which Karabakh was characterized as 94% Armenian. Also, Dr. Tessa Hoffman said about propagating arguments for annexation uh, when referring to this phase of the Karabakh drama. Famous for her many publications of Armenia, Hoffman published an abusive paper in Tribunal of the People concerning the Turkish Republic for a 1915 tragedy, which had nothing to do with the Republic. However, the statement on the demographic situation in Karabakh a period no staggering than the contention cited Alar Obalayan to the fact that the Armenian population was predominant throughout the whole of history. Here, resettlement of 50,000 Armenian from Iron apparently didn't apply to Garaba. To return to the historical sources, the first special household description of the Karabakh province was carried out by the Russian authorities in 1823, immediately after the abolition of the Khanate. The inquiry fixed the number of the household at 18.963, of which 1559 families or 8.4% fell to the share of the five Armenian Melchats, Talush, Chulabur, Varanda, Tizag, and Khachan. Admittedly, this tells us almost nothing about ethnic composition of Garabakh. The late 1820s marked a watershed for Karabakh. As a result of the Persia, Russia Persian Treaty of Turkmenia of 1828, many Armenians from Iran, later from Turkey, were resettled in Karabakh and other provinces of Azerbaijan. Close sharing of Paskavich's instructions provided to settle most of them in the areas of Nakhchivan and Derevan because of the particular desire to ensure the growth of the Christian population here. First plan to send to Karabakh about the residents of not only three border villages, but scarcity of land and resources in the first two provinces changed the initial plan. By order of the same, Paskavich of 24 April 1828, an absolute majority of 5,000 Armenian families who had arrived in Rex were settled in Karabakh. Moreover, in this connection with the lack of the state lands in Nakhchivan, of the settlers designed to this province were sent to Karabakh. As a result of the 41.245 Armenians, 8.249 families were out from Ireland the first three 
to five months approximately three thousand settled in Karabakh. The Russian writer Rigorbea, the author of the idea of resetting Armenians, has left an important testimony of the given questions. After we argued quite a lot over the suggestions as to what should be done with the Muslims in order to reconcile them to the burden they are currently bearing, which will not be long lasting, and to eradicate from them their misgivings regarding the Armenians permanently taking control of the land where they were first allowed to go. Gerberiadov as befitted the man who had received appointment to the post of Nestor Plenipontiary of Russia to Tehran had recourse to wailed freighters. More infatuated expression of these opinions was the St. Petersburg's author Shafrov who wrote, We began our colonizing work not with settling Russian people in Transcaucasia but with the settlement of others. Then after the end of the war in 1828 and 8 during 1826 and 8 during the two years 1828 we resettled in Transcaucasia more than 40,000 Persian and 84,000 Turkish Armenians and settled them in the best public lands in the gubernates of the Elizabethpol and Erevan where the Armenian population was insignificant and in the Tbilisi Gubernat and the district of Bartolo, uh, al Khatiska and al -Hakala. For their settlement, more than 200,000 decisions of public land were set aside and more than 2 million rubles worth of private land was purchased among the Muslims. The mountains part of the Elizabeth Paul Gubernet and the shore of the Lekecha were settled uh, with these Armenians. It's essential to bear in mind more than 124,000 Armenians official resettled were resettled here together with many of the unofficial ones so that the general number of the resettled significantly exceeds 200 thousand persons. Such a state of affairs results in the fact that of 1.3 million Armenians resident in Transcaucasia at the start of the century, over 1 million, in accordance with the source city, don't belong to the number of native dwellers but were settled by us. From this, it's clear that the wide line of the 1830s was the time when the demographic situation of the Arabia began to undergo a radical shift as a result of Tsari's politics. In full agreement with this, the summary household description of 1832 revealed more than a fourfold increase in the percentage of the Armenian population in the Karabakh province, 34.8 percent compared to 44.4 8.4 percent in 1823. Naturally, we are not dealing with a case of demographic explosion during these two or three years. The demographic situation didn't change in Karabakh alone, but everywhere throughout Transcaucasia. Table uh, 6.2 illustrates the percent balance of Azerbaijanis and Armenians in the 19th century. To take the data on Karabakh, the, for the period of the First World War, um, then according to the Caucasian calendar published each year by the Chancellery of the Imperial Legate and Tbilisi, the correlation of the two nationalities in 1915 was respectfully expressed by the figures 43.5% uh, to 52.5% uh, and in 1917 as to 40.2% to 52.3%. And uh, so the passage about the number of Armenians reaching 96-98% in Karabakh, one of the historical regions of Armenia, remains wholly upon the conscience of the authors of similar mystification. The percentage balance of the Karabakh Armenian right up to 1917 never exceeded this 3%. The tragedy came later. During the years 1918-20, there was a mass liquidation of Turks by the bond of Andranik, Tewan, Droa, and Derik, and practically all regions were the living joint communities. Sources are by no means an enormous of the extent of the ethnic cleansing that carried in these years. According to the investigation by one of the main historians during the 30s months existence of the Armenian Republic, 200,000 Azerbaijanis were liquidated as a result of which the number was reduced uh, from 260,000 to 60,000 persons. Also in Baku, the Dishnax from Surrey 1st March to 3rd April 1918 massacred 12,000 Turks and more than 
twenty thousand from the towns of Shomachukuba and Lenkara. The second phase of ethnic cleansing at the expense of the Bajanis in Bars, Armenia and Karabakh proceeded under the clock of communist dictatorship. In nineteen fifty Stalin by a single strike of the pan sanctioned the deportation from the Armenian Caesar of more than one hundred thousand Azerbaijanis covered form of ethnic cleansing began to harmonize with the legal ones. Authors emphasized to the argument that Karabakh constitutes one of the historical regions of Armenia denied the fact that this area is one of the historical houses of the Turkic culture of Azerbaijan. Dr. Tessa Hoffman made her own famous contribution when she wrote categorically, and the history of Azerbaijan Karabakh never played a role as a center of culture. The great poet Vagil lived and worked on the land of Karabakh and its presence emphasized the whole of his old Karabakh is the homeland of the classics of national culture and science. Khushud Banu Natavanga, Sambezakir Nijapay, Vazir of Ibrahim Beg, Verdev, the Braz of Zik, Benz of Ugarbe, Jabbar, Gariagdola, Sadduk Jam, Bilbil, Fikreta Mir, Rashid Beg, Vidim, Mirzad Gazal, Beg, Mirzad Jamal Javanshir, Mid Beg, Javanshir, Mid Mirzad Nevafri, Jamaica, Kachal, and others. It's sufficient to say that Adolf Berg, the German rentalist, was famous in Russia, published in Leipzig in 1867, and a Original as a recollection of poets popular in the Caucasus in Azerbaijan. In this volume, the names of Karabakh poets predominate, which gave the basis of Nintendo's reef for free to make a child call it a monument of Karabakh poetry. This corresponded to the state of affairs which Karabakh occupied in the cultural life of Azerbaijan in the second half of the 18th and first half of the 19th century. In the middle of the last century, in the town of Shusha, the literary union of Majulistic Kamushan, encompassing Sari writers for active. The great dramatism of Fatalakhun Devil lived and was kept in touch and corresponding with their leading members. The town of Shushi is rightly considered to be a historical center of the national musical culture of Azerbaijan. The Armenian musicologist at the, the start of the century, Garganov, named Shusha the Conservatory of the Transcaucasus, who wrote Shusha, this blessed homeland of poetry, music, and song supplies the Transcaucasus with musicians and singers. It serves as a conservatory of the whole for the Hall of Transcaucasia, providing it for every season, indeed month, with new songs and new motives. It's striking that Uzair Bejubeli, the founder of the national and in general of the oriental part of Apra, received his first musical lessons in Presley in this town. In this connection, one of the Russian musicologists wrote, Shusha has long enjoyed the reputation of the musical strain, which glorifies throughout the whole Caucasus as the inextinguishable harm of popular musical talent. The musician of Shusha made a story of Azerbaijan music and represented it not only at home but also in other oriental countries. Attempts to deny Azerbaijan's connection with Karabakh by manipulating both historical and cultural categories are thus manifest. The same can be said of Nechtuan. The struggle of the Ainu begrated uh, the, the, the Nechtuan who read the end of the lives in the beginning of the 10th century was the sole attempt to establish a manual rule here throughout the whole of the Middle Ages. This attempt was suppressed by Yusuf ibn Abu Saj, representative of the Turkic Denai and Nesta of the Sajid, which gave according to the definition of Krum Sikh, a line of the energetic rules of the Zbijan and Maryam. And in 915 he seized Al Alanish, a fortress where Sambat was hiding with his exchequer. The latter was secured in the town of Dui. In the state of the Tabaks of Azerbaijan, the town of Nechtuan was moved into the, into the category of a political center, becoming in effect the second capital uh, of the state along with Tabriz. After the establishment of Russian rule in the Nechtuan province, the latter was incorporated by the town of Ardubat into the composition of the Armenian region and then in the form of a district within the Revan government. The fact that the Nechtuan Erevan Hanat had been seized in the course of a single campaign served as motive in the hands of the Caucasian military administration of Russia. However, the Russian government apparently attached to great, no great significance to such facts of splitting land belonging to one owner by land belonging to another, followed by the will of the very same governing part of the land of today's Armenia with the towns Dilijan Dero Ijovan were incorporated right up to 1918 within composition of the Kazakh district of the Elizabeth Bulgobernat, the second largest administrative unit of North Azerbaijan. And the 
cases that Azerbaijan is present now with of Dilijan and Javan in the attack of Nechuanist and ancient regions of five million thousand go away. The result of the mass settlement of the rail uh, the divide of the 1820s and 1830s transplanting Armenians could appear the most serious. On the eve of this action, according to Russian source, the native inhabitants, the Muslims, settled here since the 6th and 7th centuries, that's from the time of the dominion of the caliphs, numbered 2,891 households are 86 0.5% were raised Armenians and ancient inhabitants, as is indicated there too, numbered 434 households or 13.5%. So those transplanted from Persia pushed the number of Armenian households up to 2,719, as a result of which the population balance was almost comparable with that of the Turk comprising 49.4%. Another source not pointedly that a great part of Armenian Nechtuan district settled here from the Azerbaijan province after the conclusion of the Turkmen Chai peace with Persia in 1828. However, in proportion to the weakening of the operation of volitional factors, uh, the demographic situation in the area toward the end of the 19th century began to follow a peaceful course. The practice rightly described by Matri de Malavile as the transformation of the minority and the majority by means of the liquidation of the Muslim population in this particular case misfired. With the formation of the independent state of Transcaucasia in an in ending struggle went up between Azerbaijan and Armenia over the Nakhchivan and the Sharur Daralaga Straits. The elite powers at one point mounted a project for forming a general government under the protectorate of the USA, after which they inclined to a hand over the district to the government of Armenia. The people themselves made a decisive statement informing the Iran Iraq Republic. Not without the cooperation of the 11th Red Army of Bolshevik Russia, the Nakhchivan Soviet Republic was formed on 28th June 1920, which proclaimed itself to the part of the Zabajuan Caesar. Soon the 11th Army transposed at Experiment to a monument on 1st December 1920, Norman of Chief of Soviet East Azerbaijan issued an order for the withdrawal of Azerbaijan forces from Zengazur. A day earlier, Zengazur, on the decision of the Politburo and uh, Bureau of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Azerbaijan, where everything was being directed by Arjun Katsi, had been transferred to Armenia, which had only just been Sovietized. The decision had a fatal significance for Nakhchivan and for the whole of Azerbaijan. Its territory comprising 91.300 km was reduced to 86.300 km2. Kilometer. The Republic, whose sovereignty was granted by treaty with the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, was dismembered and so skillfully that not one found itself in total isolation. One of the problems of the strategy of the Dashnik party was realized already in the years of the First World War as a historian humbly writes in one official report addendum presented to the state organs of Russia the following was said the many people split a tart and Caucasian is withdrawn from the Turks of Asia Minor at a wage driven and the flesh of the Turkic tribes. We cannot permit this wedge to disappear and in its place the appearance of compact mass of Muslim who are hostile to us. The Treaty of 20th March 1921 between Russia and Turkey somewhat smooths out the bitterness of the loss when it was agreed that the Nakhchivan region was an autonomous territory under the protectorate of Azerbaijan. This said a uh, protectorate would be not allowed to surrender to any third state. Turkey, which acquired the border with the Nakhchivan Republic, became the grantor of its autonomous status. And in 13 October 1921, representatives of the five republics concerned Russia, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Mania, and Georgia signed an agreement by which the current existing borders were created. Both agreements are still valid, especially as those governments they signed the first act Article of the Hars Treaty declared individuality and invalidity are now, especially as those governments that signed the first article of 
Karst Ritty declared the invalidity of all preceding agreements between them with the exception of the March Treaty of 1921. Karst Ritty's considered the character of diplomatic agreements concerning Eastern and Anatolian interests Caucasus under the authority of the Armenian Caesar in this agreement as the signature of the Commissar of Foreign Affairs Moravian and Commissar of Internal Affairs Mackenzie. From this it follows that until the Republic of Armenia officially denounces the agreement all her opponent's secret acts regarding Karabakh and Nechwa must be qualified by the United Nations and other world organizations. On 15th July 1987, one of the Dushnak leaders, Papazian, wrote the following in this part newspaper gun. The Armenians have historical claims. The Armenian nation has a historical land straight on the borders of the Caucasus. Today we have clearly defined territorial claims. The Dushnaks didn't reveal exactly which territory on the Caucasian borders. Here in the USSR, where communist propaganda is presented in the guise of internationalism, the taboo was disturbed in the very same year by the academic Agambikian. Mikhail Gorbachev found himself in the Paris in route to the USSR and said the following. I'd like the Karabakh situated in the north of the Republic to become Armenian. As an economist, they consider that this region is more linked to Armenian than to Azerbaijan. This was given the go-ahead, albeit under an economic guise. However, the historical camouflage was not forgotten. The account of the publication of the French communists begins with the passage of Karabakh to one ancient Armenian lands next to the Azerbaijan Republic. The president of Armenia has revealed uh, no more than one occasion that Iran doesn't have any territorial pretensions to Azerbaijan. However, the decision of the Armenian SSR in 1989 regarding the uniting of the Nagorno Karabakh Autonomous Region to Armenia was not new. In that year, the Parliament of the Armenian Republic made a decision that rendered the prohibition of participation on other agreements in which the Karabakh was considered to be a part of Azerbaijan. The problem of national minority Minorities in a sovereign state was replaced by the Armenians with an artificial absolutist law on the self-determination of the Karabakhian Armenians and was later treated exclusively as the territorial problems. The election is hapless because a similar approach led Armenia to an unavoidable contradiction with the principle of the inviolability of borders, which was recognized by all European states and the world community. At the same state, European and American politicians don't fully acknowledge uh, the fact that the mountains Karabakh is not outstripped of Azerbaijan in the literal sense. The region is geographically uh, closer to Armenia, but it is not bothered with this country. In this sense, the region is the middle territory of Azerbaijan. That is, between Karabakh and Armenia, there lies a stretch of Azerbaijan land equal to the area of half the mountainous part of the Karabakh itself. From this is uh, it follows that the idea of the merging of the Karabakh with Armenia of other modifications will inevitably result in annexing of the Azerbaijani land. It's well known in Armenia that without this, the existence of republics of the mountains about is impossible. Therefore, those who support Armenians act in the name of the self-determination of the Karabakh are encouraging her to open in action. In this case, it's hardly possible to talk to devotion to the housing process. Now, it's obvious to every unprejudiced person that at the root of the Karabakh conflict lies an attempt by Armenia to defend the interests of Armenians in Azerbaijan by force of arms, with this aim she unleashed war in the territory of another state. There is a platform for a reduction of this tragic moment of events. This is the unconditional recognition of the inviolability of existing state borders and the securing of constitutional rights for all people and nationalities and on these grounds a quick keys fire. There is no alternative political solution of the Karabakh problem. The problem cannot be solved by having troops march on the territory of another state annexing that territory not only because this evolution of international Low, but because a protracted war inevitably leads to a dreadful political, economic and moral expenditure for the aggressor.